Hello, my friends. The long-awaited Soundwave lore video is upon us. Also, I would like to say thanks, everyone, for all your support and views. We finally hit 100 subscribers. At the end of the video, I will announce the giveaway video, or the giveaway winners for the, uh, the five... Uh, I, I call it RSS, uh, stands for resources, which would be Alloy and Energon. Um, I have five links I was going to give away to random viewers, but there may be something else. Just stay tuned for the end of this. But anyways, my friends, give me just a minute. I'm going to get this bad boy out, and we're going to get started. It's LG36, to Karatomi's version of... Uh, Soundwave, leader class from Titan's Return. In my opinion, the superior figure to Hasbro's because it looks just like it stepped out of my mobile screen from my Transformers Earth Wars game. God, I love it. Here we go, my friends. Just bear with me. Give me just a minute and I'm going to get him out. Alright guys, it took me a minute to get him out. The car are just, I guess they don't expect you to get him out. But you know what, I don't care about reselling it at some point in the future, so I don't need my figures to be mint on card. I, I want to get my hands on it. So, I mean, I'm going to keep this box, it's a nice box. I don't know if you guys see my little... Uh, inspiration I got in the background there. I already had that set up. Um, you just couldn't see it before. It's like, I, I, that's my favorite. That's, well, I think I have Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, but I don't know what happened to him. I remember having him. But, uh, make it, like I said, I don't really like the Bayformer aesthetics. I got those because to play with my niece and nephews because we just got the Tiny Universe figures when it was Transformers Universe was the only other line was that dead period um, in between Prime and Animated when there was just, I think, Revenge of the Fallen and Universe and we were unlucky and did not get Voyager. We didn't get, like, Scout. We didn't get Deluxe Voyagers or uh, Leader Class Universe figures in this area for some reason. But that is my... Counting that Megatron that I don't have, that one right there, Transformers Prime Megatron is the only other Megatron figure that I have. I did not have a G1 Megatron. And I love that. But Transformers Prime Megatron is one of my favorite figures. And he is getting ready to blast my Alpha Trion in the face. There's my Scourge. And then old uh, Galvatron's coming up behind him. And he's getting ready to blast him in the back as well. If you remember, I did my laser beak video. So... I could use him with my sound life video here. So I've got him sitting there on top of the device deck uh, handle there. And then there's uh, Ravage and Rumble. I do not have a uh, buzzsaw. I need to get him at some point. But I haven't done their lore video, so they will remain in packaging until. But there they are for this monumentous event. Back there is uh, animated Shockwave. Um, he uh, he can be uh, I think it's long arm. Is when he infiltrated the Autobots and was uh, long arm Prime or long arm yeah Sentinel. I can't remember how the the rankings and stuff was different in there, but he's back there. That's my only Shockwave. I didn't have a shockwave growing up, and I, I liked that one. I liked animated it. I liked the designs of them. Up there in the background is my pride and joy. Um, my star scream. I, I meant to do that as my initial lore video because he's my favorite character, as you can see up there. I've got a tiny uh, scout class, I believe. Uh, Transformers Prime. Star scream sitting on top of. Uh, Revenge of the Fallen, Starscream, and Jet Mode. And then right there is one of my newest uh, acquisitions. Uh, 
It's uh, Robots in the Sky Starscream, a little tiny one. I couldn't pass. I mean, who can pass up a tiny Starscream? But yeah, that lore video will come soon, my friends. The Starscream with that Combiner Wars clear class Starscream. Yeah, that's a backdrop. I'm sorry for getting distracted. I know it's sound wave. I, Lord. Oh, and then I have a, a tiny. The kids have messed up my only Optimus. I do have a power ma a, a, an original Power Master Optimus Prime in storage somewhere with the rest of my original figures. But uh, there's a Revenge of the Fallen, a Voyager class Optimus Prime in alt mode. He's missing some stuff because, you know, the kids. The same with. Uh, I think that's Transformers Prime uh, Scout class uh, Optimus, which I did have a Transformers Prime Megatron and a bunch of other guys. All that size to play with the kids, but I guess the kids have them or they lost them. Yeah, I thought I'd show you this Primes that were hidden. But yeah, guys, check this out. There's the device deck, and then there's this little thing that comes with it, I guess, so if you don't have any of the of the Cassetticons, you can have this little thing to put in it. And then there's the, uh, there's the Titan Master, or as the Takartomi and the Japanese still continue to call them, uh, the Headmaster. They're, they're still calling them Headmasters, because that's where the Headmasters really was big. You know, it ended pretty much right at the get, that's where it, Transformers ended here, and, but they had a whole series with the Headmasters, and and then they continued on from there. I, I need to watch all of that at some point uh, with subtitles, because I'd like to know all about Overlord and all that stuff. And uh, Deathsaurus. I love that Deathsaurus from Transformers or or the Wars, you guys. He's just a two-star, but he's just so OP. There you have the Soundwave uh, face on the back of the the headmaster this is sound blaster and from my understanding at some point uh sound blades upgraded to sound blaster so that's kind of interesting the this little uh, headmaster is named sound blaster and look at all the paint like on the actual this is the difference between uh takara tomi and hasbro I mean, takara tomi yeah, you know, the Japanese, they love their robots, and they know how to do them. They're, and they're all about perfection. So you get all this wonderful paint app on the Titan Master that Hasbro would not have. You, would have, you wouldn't have any of this paint on the Titan Master other than the face on the back. Like, all this would be whatever color the plastic is without any kind of paint accents. I would, I'm almost 100% sure I, have, I don't have... Hasbro's version, so I can't compare, but yeah, look at him. And I just uh, sent him down into this little thing for now. I slide him out of the way there. And there's these two thing ramps that were inside, not like I guess I have to attach these. And they're part of base mode, but they were just loose inside of the packaging. And then, uh, we don't get those little collector cards with the card, Tommy. I'm sad about because here is our tech spec card. They they give you they don't give you a little folded up piece of paper with instructions. They go all out, and you get this little book, and uh, it's got the instructions, and I believe it has a comic as well, which here later I'm going to take pictures of and get the translation, and I'll do a video. Of reading the translation of the comic for you guys. Yeah, we got uh, the figure there, robot mode, device deck mode, and then battle station base mode. But then here's what would have been, you know, the collector card from Hasbro. The tech specs. Um, his strength is, I think, around eight. And his intelligence is 9. His speed is like about 4, I think. His endurance looks like it's 6. His rank is 8, I believe. And that's the funny thing is Sandwave is in the upper echelon of Decepticon ranks. He he generally um, is like 
equivalent to Starscream and Shockwave in ranking, like basically kind of like a second in command type figure. With the difference being, Soundwave is the only one that is truly loyal to Megatron, and uh, whereas his other, you know, lieutenants are all plotting and scheming to overthrow him. Now we got Courage is five. Fire Blast is 6, and his skill is 10. I guess he would be skilled, because Sandwave is the communications officer of the group. I'll put this aside here. Like I said, I will make a video here in the next few days. With, uh, I'll get the, the comic translated, and we'll go through it, and I'll read, the, read it uh, being translated, because I, I can't read Japanese. I can't do it right now. But yeah. Alright, guys, give me just a minute. I'm going to get him into base mode, and then, and then we will do robot mode. Alright, my friends, here's base mode. It actually looks really cool. Now, the reason you didn't see them guns is because I had them stored on the back of the device deck. There's places to peg them in. And that way you don't lose him if you've got him stored in the in uh, device deck mode. And the ramps as you that were loose, they just popped in. And I'm understanding, yeah, this I guess would connect here onto uh, Titan's Return set. Fortress Maximus. That opened up. You got this little thing. And that's where the Cetacons go. And then the little vehicle thing goes on to the, uh, the bar for, like, I guess some guns. And we've got a uh, sound blaster up in there. Yeah, there's that. Now, this is the only detail that would make it perfect in my opinion I believe is right here this needs to be like the dots in the center that that needed to be red and that would have just it would have been perfect uh, I've never tried to do it but I'm almost tempted to try to figure out what uh, sorry about that I noticed one of my hairs but uh, I kind of like to try to paint those dots, you know, Rip, like mat, match that paint there and get the match for it and, and get those dots painted red. And here's his little gun here. Now, this isn't painted at all. I believe it's all one, like, around this collar on uh, Sound Life. And, of course, that's like a yellow, I believe, and, and, it, and it's back here. On the Hasbro. But yeah, there's the base mode. Now, give me a minute here, my friends. I am going to get him into robot mode. And then I will tell you all about Soundwave. And I got a nice little story about Soundwave. Um, from when I was a kid. A little experience I had. Remember, I did not have the G1 figure. I had all the Cassetticons, even Ratbat. The only Cassetticon I did not have was Buzzsaw. I actually didn't really know about him because you never really saw him in the cartoon. I didn't have sound waves, so I didn't really know about him until recently, to be honest. But uh, and it, Buzzsaw was the only Cassetticon I was missing because he came with sound waves. Here, give me just a second, guys, then I'll get him into robot mode. And I'll proceed to tell you all about him and, and then a little story of... Uh, from my childhood. It's an interesting one. Oh my god, guys. This is just... Words cannot describe. This is perfection. I mean, look at him. He even has that in the game, that little line and everything. 
they just really outdone themselves. The only thing that doesn't look exactly like the game really is, like I said, them little dots right there on the, on the shoulder piece are all red. But and then look, guys, and that's why I did laser beak first because there he is on sound waves arm. I mean, wow, guys. Now, that is just amazing. I believe that this is now... I was going to set that down and talk a lot, my friends, but I guess I can't. But I believe this is my favorite figure so far. This, Yeah, this is my favorite figure that I have so far. It was Galvatron. But this sound wave is just, oh my lord. You, you have to get the cassetticons because the laser beak being up there on his arm is like the finishing touch, my friends. Wow. I love it. Oh, watch this, guys. See? See that? That's how you store the Legends class cassette cons. That's how they go into him. I mean, wow. Is that little thing that comes with him? Is it is the size of is what laser beak in a spy tablet mode and they're spy tablets instead of cassettes now. Uh, that's the size he would be in spy tablet mode. And, and see, they just go right into the chest. Spring action release. Bam. Sorry, laser beak. Aw, oh, darn it. We're just gonna get the... <laughs> That back out. Get him back up on there. Oh, man. Look at that, guys. Perfection. So, anyways, on the sound wave. Lore. I know we're almost 18 minutes in, and I'm just now getting the lore on the sound wave. Like I said, sound wave is the communications and spy master. For the Decepticons, he is also Megatron's most loyal servant. He he is the storage and master of the Cassetticons. They all store inside of him until needed. Uh, and he talks really cool, and he's always like, Sound wave superior. Everything is inferior. I mean, he's just, he's... He's just, he's just the greatest, you know. Sound wave superior. Everything else inferior. Chant. Meg, Megatron's most loyal follower. And, uh, he would, uh, he would, his, he's one of the, you know, ranking members of the Decepticons. I would say he, even though Starscream is second in command, he shares, shares a similar rank to Starscream and Shockwave. And like I said, unlike them, he never plots against his master Megatron. Because he's all about what Megatron's about. Now, on to... Oh, in fact, here's a little fun thing. Uh, after Prime defeats Megatron in the 86 movie... And Starscream orders the retreat on Astro Train, and they're all getting aboard to leave. Uh, Saint Megatron's like, Soundwave, don't leave me. And Soundwave's, as your command, Lord Megatron. And he picks him up and carries him to the shuttle, to Astro Train. 
and uh, Frenzy or Rumble, I don't remember which one, picks up and carries uh, Megatron's uh, fusion cannon and brings it along. It's, it's funny. But yeah, now on to the story from when I was a kid. Like I said, I, I had all the Cassetticons minus Buzzsaw because Buzzsaw come with Soundwave and I did not have Soundwave. Um, but my mom's mom, my grandma on my mom's side, uh, their neighbor had a kid a little bit older than me. Well, they had a couple of kids. But the son, he had Soundwave. And we, I would play with him and get to play with it when I was over there at my grandma's. Well, one time, uh, he just left it out on the porch. Um, when he went in for the night, and here, here I am, like six, n seven years old at the most, probably six years old, and uh, I decided, you know what, he he leaves his sound wave just outside, uh, out in the elements when he goes to bed. He must not want his sound wave all that much. That's the way my little six-year-old mind worked, and I took it. And went into grandma's, and I think I slept with it that night. And you know, had it in the bed with me. And, you know, I played with it all that, all that evening and everything. And I think grandma was even like, "Oh, that's neat. Where'd you get him?" And I don't know what I said, but long story short, the next day he we're we're playing, and he's like, "My sound wave's missing." I'm like, "Oh yeah, I got it. Here you go." And I gave it back to him. But that's how I almost acquired, I'm going to say, because my little six-year-old mind did not comprehend that I was stealing. Um, so I almost acquired a, sound, a G1 sound wave when I was a kid. But I mean, in all honesty, he must have not cared about it too much or he wouldn't have left it outside in the elements when he went in for the night. I mean, the only toys that I used to leave outside like that when I was a kid were, would probably be, you know, my little G.I. Joe's. Like, I wouldn't leave Transformers or Star Wars or Thundercats or he -Man. I wouldn't leave any of that stuff outside overnight. Occasionally, a G.I. Joe might get left out, but I, I had some interesting things happen to some of my G.I. Joe's. And, of course, you know, the rubber bands that held them together at the waist would break, usually, and... I had one of the uh, underwater Cobra guys. Uh, I had him with a light bulb and melted, what, like his leg. Uh, you know, whenever I get in the stores to get my old Transformers legs, I'll, or Transformers, you know, my G1 Transformers figures, I'll have to find that guy and show him to you. It's interesting, you know, one of his legs is melted. It's like he's a handicapped G.I. Joe. Oh, but I babble, I babble. On to, on to the giveaway, my friends. If you made it this far, thank you, and I appreciate it. Uh, I had my buddy Gavin. I gave him all the subscribers that had it to where I could see their names. If you didn't have... If you didn't have it to where uh, people can see who you're subscribed to, I'm afraid you didn't get entered because I had no way of knowing you were subscribed. But here's the five names that Gavin gave back to me. It is David Smith. Ferdez456. Jason Guns Victor So Vince, I believe, and then finally Luna, which I found interesting because Luna is a Twitch streamer, my friends, and she streams uh. Guild Wars 2 on Twitch. Very cool 
Very cool lady. You should check her out sometime if when you're on Twitch. But those are the names that were drawn. Now I was gonna give each one a link. I was gonna I was gonna say um, just contact me and uh, by email, Twitter, whatever, and I would give you the the link to to get you know your in game alloy and energy. On. I believe maybe fuel too, but I'm, I can't remember. I'm in Transformers Earth Wars. Here's the thing, my friends. I actually got 500 of those things to to use for giveaways. Um, but here's the thing. They expire very soon, so I am going to give any of you a link. All you got to do, hit me up either on Twitter or my Facebook, Instagram. Just contact me, and I will, I will give you one of the links because... I've, I've actually, I think I have about 450 of them left, actually. Uh, they'll only work once. Like, each one is is, a di is different. But, like, you know, I used one, and I gave a few to um, some close buddies and other alliances. But, uh, so I believe I, ha I have roughly probably 490, but I'm going to say I got 450. So any one of you, my, my my loyal Lunacons, as I like to call you, any one of you want to uh, to get one of these links, just contact me. Facebook, Twitter, even Instagram, I guess. Uh, I would say you can comment here, but... I, I mean, yeah, you can comment here if you want, but you, you'll want to give me some kind of uh, way to get you the link, like an email or something, because... I'm not going to post it into the reply to your comment if you ask for it in this video. Because anybody else could click on it and then that would use the link and you wouldn't get to. So yeah, any of you, my friends, want one? I've got roughly 408, I'd say 480 of them. And they expire here within the next couple of weeks, so... I'm just going to go ahead and open that up to any of you. The five that, that actually won. Uh, give me a little bit of time. I'm going to think up something. A little extra I can do for you. And, uh. This has been a Soundwave lore and story with Lunar Fury using... I would say the Titans Return, but it's actually the Takara Tomy version of the Titans Return. LG36 Soundwave figure as a prop to do the Soundwave lore. And a little bit of uh, my experience with him as a kid. And it looks just like the Soundwave from Earth Wars. The reason most of you are here, my friends. And... And that was the five names, but like I said, I've got about 480 of those uh, links. So if any of you would like to get one, it's you just have to click on the link when uh, with the game closed, and it will launch the game and then give you your energy on an alloy. And there might be some fuel. I just don't remember if they gave fuel or not in it with it. Yeah, but if any of you want that one of those, just contact me, and I'll. And give me a way to send it to you, email, text, something. And I'll uh, I'll send you one of those links. It's Lunar Fury, my friends, remembering to say, stay classy, be good to one another, hit like if you enjoyed the video. You may not because I've rambled on for almost a half hour. But it's sound life. And I, and I busted my 100 subscribers, so I'm just so excited. And, uh, you know, stay subbed if you are subbed. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not, please tell your friends and have them do the same. Spread the word. Spread the good word, my friends. Lunar Fury, over and out. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did making it.